Hey, uh, the Raspberry Pi robot thing that I've been working on is, well, running on its own power for the first time. And uh, so this is just a quick demo of that. Um, over here I've got two terminal windows open. Um, the Raspberry Pi has a Wi-Fi uh, adapter on it, so it's on the network and I'm SSH'd into it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start the Erdar, which I've talked about before. And here I have a simple uh, command line interface um, for the motor controller. So I can tell it to reverse, stop, uh, let's do a sharp right turn, spin it around, stand on those. Okay, and then you can also see over here that uh, now that it's staring at that box, um, it picks up a bunch of objects on the Erdar here. Um, if we move it back to the left, uh, you'll see that all the objects over here back off, more or less. And... Yeah, so that's the basic idea. So, yeah, the next step is to, um, well, this is really the starting point. Um, some of the things I want to do from here are to uh, automate um, some of the navigation so that it'll use the Erdar to find uh, obstacles in its way and uh, avoid those obstacles or try to find ways to navigate around or through them. Um, and another thing I want to do, uh, is actually, um, experiment with, uh, optical, uh, control, so, uh, computer vision. Um, and for that I'll be adding another layer on top of this contraption. Um, and, uh, mounting a... A camera on it and the camera will be on a two-axis uh, mount um, so uh, yeah so those are some some future uh, directions for this project but for now this thing is running on its own power uh, very quickly it has a 22 watt hour uh, lithium polymer battery um, hooked up to so it's got an onboard solar charger as well um, and then it's got two uh, 5 volt regulators um, capable of up to about 20 amps um, of output. Uh, so that's what's running the Raspberry Pi as well as the 5 volt servo. Um, currently the motors are actually running off of a separate uh, battery pack because uh, I think uh, there's a ripple issue. Um, uh, if I try to run the motors off of the lithium polymer battery, it, the battery shut, the battery pack shuts off. So uh, I need to address that before I can run the motors off of the LiPo batteries. But in the long run, that's that's what, I, what I'm planning on doing as well. So that's pretty much it for now. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but. Uh, there's a whole lot more we can do with this. So, it's not too bad for a couple of weeks' work, I think. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.